What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick. In the New York Mets versus Los Angeles Angels Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, August 25th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. If you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Angels, the New York Mets, sending out Kodai Senga to the mound in this one. The Los Angeles Angels, no starter confirmed. I have seen Patrick Sandoval potentially listed as a cup, uh, by a couple of uh, different outlets as a potential starter for the Angels here. Like I said, what we do know is that it's going to be Kodai Senga again to start for the New York Mets. And Senga has been at his best at City Field for much of the season. The home road splits would tell you that. I mean, you look at the, uh, the splits for Senga this season at home, you know, a 5-2 record, 2.63 ERA. On the road, he's been better than he was to start the year, but still, 5-4, and four, a 3.82 ERA away from City Field. So whenever you get Kodai Senga at home at a reasonable price, you got to take a look, even with the Mets. I mean, Senga's been the best shot that the Mets have had at a win in some of their recent games, especially after offloading guys like Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer. And the Mets have actually done a good job putting up a fight uh, against some teams, not just you know rolling over and waving the white flag like I thought they would. You know, they won their series against the uh, the Cardinals. They battled hard in their series against the Atlanta Braves to start the week before falling flat. So I think that Kodai Senga could put the, uh, the Mets in a decent spot here. Now for the Los Angeles Angels, obviously the news right now is trying to figure out what's going to be the status of Shohei Otani. Um, dealing with a UCL tear in his elbow. Um, so no pitching for Otani for the rest of the season. I'll have to see how that, you know, sort of uh, sh shifts him for the, uh, you know, the batting portion of his game. If it's me, I am I know it's not what Angels fans will want to hear, especially if this team is technically still in the wild card race and they had been winning games here and there. But, you know, they're 61 and 67 entering uh, Thursday's action. And when you look at sort of where they are in the grand scheme of things in the uh, in the wild card race in the American League, you know, the, uh, the Los Angeles Angels still well off of the pace. I mean, they're 10 and a half games back with, what, 38 games to go, if my math, no, not even 34 games to go, if my math is right. So I honestly think it's time to just, as much as I hate to say it, mail it in, shut down Otani, do not let the damage get any worse, let it start to heal. I know he's a competitor, I know he, he wants to, uh, I know he wants to, you know, play, but, and it's also that, you know, you don't want to let him walk and really get nothing from him, but, you know, he might be walking anyway, so just shut him down. Try to, you know, get, you know, get your ducks in a row and maybe try to throw out a Hail Mary and try to re-sign him. I still think it's a mistake that the Angels didn't deal him at the trade deadline. But again, hindsight's always going to be 20-20. But as far as this game goes, the Angels are just struggling offensively. And now a banged up Otani isn't going to help matters. I think they're going to struggle here against Kodai Senga in New York. The Mets still haven't been great against lefties if it is Patrick Sandoval here. So I do look at the under, I think, as my primary play for this game. But again, just with the state of the Los Angeles Angels, I got to roll with the Mets as, as a side play in this one. So give me the under eight with lean towards the Mets as well. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're on our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.